Welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. Today I'm going to be talking about tabs. Now I know a lot of people use a shooting glove but I've always used a tab. Uh, the history of the tab goes back hundreds of years. In the Middle Ages we're not really sure what they used. I expect archers fingers would be so calloused uh, particularly if they're working on the land as well, if they're working on farms, their fingers would have been very, very tough. Uh, in fact, I used to live in Africa and a lot of people there didn't wear any shoes. And walking on the ground, their feet became like leather and they could walk on any surface, walk on ground that was so hot that literally I couldn't walk on it. And it's likely that people in the Middle Ages, their fingers would have been very calloused and able to shoot a bow without anything on. However, I expect a lot of them would have used a simple tab, a leather tab like this, just a single thickness of leather. The advantage is, of course, that once you put it on your fingers, it protects your fingers, but it gives a nice smooth passage for the string. So you get a good loose. So on the string like that, curl your fingers round and it slips off. If it's just your fingers it will catch in any calluses you've got on your fingers and give not such a smooth loose as the tab. So people who are trying to be a bit tough and not use anything are not helping themselves really. Tab gives a nice smooth loose. I've put an arrow onto this bow just to show you the fit of the tab. That slot in the tab is where the arrow goes through and then fingers around. You might find when you buy the tab that that slot is not quite wide enough and it it's too tight on the knock. With a pair of scissors you can just adjust that, just cut a little bit out and in the past it was quite normal to do that. Just trim it so that it fits and it's not pushing against the knock because ideally when you pull the string back you don't want anything touching the knock permissible for the top finger just to touch it but you don't want that leather tab squeezing the knock and sending the arrow off uh, either wobbling through the air or a, a, you know it just gives you a poor a poor loose so something to consider they obviously come in different sizes to fit whatever size you are these are both single thickness tabs that one's a bit more flexible than that one a single thickness of leather just protects your fingers. If you've got an extremely heavy bow you might want a little bit more than that and there are ones with a double thickness that's actually a small tab and that's got two pieces of leather gives your fingers an extra bit of protection. Also got something a bit more sophisticated no finger hole but at the back is a loop put your finger through and it's got a separator which is quite useful if you're a novice archer stops your fingers actually pinching the arrow it just keeps your fingers apart again double thickness slips off really nicely apart from leather we've got a hair face tab with the hair lying this way so that you get a really fast and smooth loose. If you're looking for some extra distance, if you're doing clout shooting, something like that, roving perhaps, and you wanted some extra distance, this just gives that little bit of extra speed when you're, when you're shooting. Double thickness, similar thing. Two thickness, just an ordinary leather on the back, and then this thin layer of hair face on the, on the front. This isn't made from some exotic animal, it's been dyed like that. Uh, again, similar one, separator in the back, one finger hole this time, finger through, use the separator, double thickness of hair face, leather on the back, and that smooth hair on the front. Again, they come in different sizes to suit your fingers. Well, that's a very brief discussion about tabs. 
Uh, hope you found that interesting. I've always used a tab. Uh, they're much cheaper than gloves. Not that that's really anything to do with it. If, if a glove suits you, fine. Um, but a, a, a tab is a very useful thing to have, even if you've tried a glove, try a tab. If you fancy having a look at the range of tabs that we sell, or indeed even buying something, then please do have a look at the website and you're seeing that now. It's at www.richardheadlongbows.com. That's also in the description box below if you just want to click a link because you can't be bothered to type it in. And if you've always fancied having a go at making your own bow and arrows, we've got you covered there too. Just go to www.howtomakealongbow.co.uk. I'll put some other videos up on the screen if you want to carry on watching, and also the subscribe button if you want to help us carry on. Please do, it really helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.